Hey, what's up guys? Mikas here for the EDM session. This is episode 76 and today or tonight or in the evening or whichever time we're watching because now we can watch things when we want. Uh, we're gonna make some, uh, we're gonna actually gonna arrange and mix some deep progressive, I would say. Deep house, progressive accent, almost trancey in nature because there's a lot of melodies, there's a lot of synthesizer in it. This is actually episode 36 of the EDM session. It's a two minute template. I'm gonna turn it into a full track, gonna put on some arrangement, maybe I'm gonna add some elements. I'm gonna have to add some effects, some transitions, you know, to really make this into a full track. And actually, when I'm done, I'm also gonna master it in another episode and it will be released, of course, on our label Progressive Grooves Records. If you didn't know, I also own a record label called Progressive Grooves. Lots of releases on Beatport. So this is gonna be the first compilation of uh, the EDM sessions. I'm gonna use every track that are all in very different genre, but I think I think it's fun to do something like that, to actually track the put, put the tracks out too. And also put it in our royalty free music section so you guys can use it in background or have fun with it uh, to DJ and stuff like that. So here we go. So this is 118 BPM. It's mellow. It's a really, really cool track, I think. At least it's not uh, lane eight and stuff. Is like in those and during the deep compilation, there's always some more mellow tracks and transitional and stuff. This one is, is softer, still have a cool factor. Like I wanted to reproduce the feeling of and the deep and not replicate the sound of some track that were very popular from the label. So this is what it is. I'm gonna forward a little bit, so. Oh. Switch to headphones here. So I wanted to keep it as minimal as possible when I created the track. I don't I wanted to add more element, I wanted to focus on what was there already, and I think I think I think it's it's good. I think it has a soul, you know. I think it it has somehow an energy that that is similar to the one on Unjude Deep. Like I said, I'm never I'm not copying the style. I just want to replicate the feeling, you know. So first, like I like you see what I've done. So I replicated. So it's three time. Uh, let me count uh, three times uh, 65 bars, so 185 bars, uh, 190 something. I think this is the length, it's pretty good, 6 minutes, 6 minutes 20. It's not going to be a 5 minute track because you need an intro, really need to go try to dig deeper into the track and hopefully today I will take the time to do that. So. And I will not start with this. I think it was good for the short version, but I mean, if we're building a full track, we cannot do that. I mean, we can do that, but it's not what I am looking to do here. So I want to start with a really soft, so some soft percussions, you know, not nothing too heavy, but... Mm, somehow I don't like this, this snare thing, so... Let's start with something else. Is there another hat to complement this one? I think so. We got to kick this off. That's perfect. Like in many track, you're gonna see. I always do this. Is the reason for this? I, I'm gonna go a single key. So why? Because again, we have to think about the DJ that is mixing this track. And if you put complex chord progression and stuff, and he's in the mix, and the chords are coming in, it's extremely difficult to mix. So we want to think. Okay, well. A DJ will definitely play this track because, well, hopefully, you know, let's say. And how are we giving him the material that uh, that he needs? So that's what we're doing. So I'm 
gonna start very mellow. This is good here, this is good here. Timing, timing is good here. I don't want to open it very much. I'm gonna need an answer though to this. to make it more interesting but for this this specific genre we're definitely not into some crazy uh, drum fills and stuff we have to keep it very minimal very i would say british you know somehow because angela deep is very british and they select tracks that are yeah in, in their own style i'm gonna try to maybe No, that's later. Is there something there or no? Okay. That's good. As for the bass, I don't want to have a space. I want it to continue. That really, to me at least, that remind me of uh, Sasha, like old, old, old times of Sasha or drawn dra dagger and stuff. Keep it very minimal. He's got. Uh, he was working with Nick Muir, so the 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 synths were absolutely mental. I can pretend to have those skills, but you know, I'm gonna make something cool with this. I think I'm I'm feeling. It would be nice to have another bass layer that has a bit of a, I wouldn't say a different current, but a different, so this is just a bass pad, so. Oh, whoa, 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 that's not panic here. Just a little bit more. Still keep it super, super gentle. I think the right should come in at about probably 17 here. So we're going to continue again with our uh, the bells, like this, I'm going to continue with that single tone, I'm going to add some more element here at 17, oops, I think it's a bit much. It's definitely for later. I think, uh, wait a second, did I just uh, remove the top base pad to put it down? So I want both. Hey, hello.
So we're building here very slowly. Plugs are there, melody pad is there. The chords here, I think I would start bringing them up a little bit. tempted to put some some effects but I will not so I really want to continue until probably 49 here with at least in this 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 draft and this push well maybe 41 would, would do but A lot of people will drop it here. It's just I I don't want to it's good here. This is good, this is a bit dramatic. I think if I leave the chord with it. Very minimal, very laid back. Like that. I'm going to continue with that. Well, I wouldn't say sad, <laughs> but uh, it's really pulled back. It's really, it's really nice. Really, it's exactly what I was, I was looking for. is do I drop it there I think so let's listen to the transition here so we're coming up building the track the shakers are a bit loud here as usual too much room in the mix percussions are clear I'm not really feeling putting more kick could be a little more punchy here with the bass mm, that's good it's very good and then we drop it one step further one so in there no kick for sure Ooh, this is good I'm not sure if the kick stays yeah it will stay it will stay this is unnecessary for now and you get the bass pad coming in here I would leave a little bit more of this here. This main melody. 
Sunday here is coming up nicely. I wouldn't bring the percussions here. We're having a moment. With all those elements just perfectly laid, they're just there, they just slowly bring you into it. I think this is danceable track, I don't know what you guys think, but to me, this is very danceable, very mellow, but still. Keep this melody here in focus. So we got four intro, we got this job that is four. Then I would go into a more, I wouldn't say hard, but like a more just a percussive, a bit less deep, a bit more dancey, you know. So now that we brought the people and into this vibe, I would go to cut, cut some elements and I think I will I'll keep some for later. I need something else though. No plugs for sure. Maybe these, they're a bit intense. certain but could do or just straight bare I have a feeling it would need a little something else there's those bells but I really don't think that definitely is good for a bit later but it need right here something else then we'll have to keep people dancing here so I'm gonna keep going however like I said I'm gonna add something Base hits here are good. Uh, it's, a, it's a tough choice when you have a track that has this depth. You have to be very careful on what you had, you know, to not to break this this vibe. So I'm gonna do an attempt, but I don't know. I really don't know yet. So I'm gonna do a retro send. I mean, I'm gonna try to add a little ARP to create more, a little bit more movement at least in the background. So maybe we'll be lucky, maybe you won't. So I'm gonna cut the high pass, just take the mid lows, try to pick some of the body around 200 to 400. This is my style, so. But it's a track that I need to complete, you know, so... It could work with some side chaining, maybe some more... Let's see, do we have a bus for that? Is there... There's a side chain channel here. really pick the frequency so this is doable however the sound maybe not my favorite
for a different vibe to start. Mm, that could very work, work very well. No, no. Table one. Put it in the mix. In the back. Very light. It's there. It was needed in my in my opinion. And I would go a bit further. I don't know what's the result of this this is gonna be, but I Try to introduce another another bass here. underneath that worked well for me guys so added a little bit of element to this part because you know the original track was good but when you're finishing a track think about the listener think about the progression and you like you want to in that case I wanted to give a little bit more you know to really have some something to chew on you know some something good so here we go oh this this would be good if it's just one hit there and another hit there i think now is do I go up or I go down let's look at the count 4 8 12 so logically I would go down a bit later so I will keep on going maybe with this but by changing the elements a little bit I always make sure it's not boring so here much opening in the back gently grooving and then here I can start cutting see the percussions or most of the percussion at 89 going in the main breakdown like I call it at least it's not the drop I don't know what it is I'm confused with all those new words I'm an old school guy so for me it's a breakdown 
So the first thing I'm gonna do is we bring it down. Don't need the base heads. A little arp could be useful later. And this breakdown. I like that for the break. This came in just when it was needed. It's a bit too low because I just lowered the volume of those. repeating three times let's listen so the second time here is a bit superfluous it would be better to have only two I believe so let's do this to listen Obviously not going back onto the main beats right now. So I want to try to preserve this 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 kind of momentum, this smoothness that we have through this sorry, this track now. And this is a vibe that is a bit hard for me to be in. I'm a bit more intense than this. No, I think I think what I would do. This is work, the automations. Try to create a few good moments. So we have the main base pad and then Sarp there, I'm missing something. Oh yeah, there's this other base pad that you could add in here probably. So this is opening too much in my opinion here. This is about creating, with, with the minimal elements that we have, creating some movement, creating some vibes, you know, really, really try to make it rich. It's cool for this, this is cool for this. I think I will here start rising a bit more. here and then this is our melody here that was almost getting into the focus here Let's see if I put just 
one kick here to max end to eight. Let's hear it. I like this. Nice, I'll put another kick here. Just to let people know that this isn't this isn't it. It's not they're not gonna fall asleep now. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't really add too much effects yet. I don't think I will, to be honest with you guys. I think I will refine the element, the mix. So after I'm done with this session here with you guys, I will put on a couple more hours for the mix and then do really, really the best that I can with this track. I'm gonna add it to our website, wemakedancemusic.com, along 5,000 other DAW templates. Jesus, I cannot speak right now. Anyway, so it's probably because the music is really loud in my my head and I'm totally hypnotized by this this piece is really really cool then I think I would I would cut a bit more drastically here to have space because you know if you have everything at the same time maybe some reverse crash so this is good here something like that to bring everything up 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 doesn't transition so hard I think I will probably cut it a little bit here and I don't want it to be so full I'm gonna say it was like that before it was but not exactly like this and this is unnecessary gonna go again into a more densey part like the one we created here which we will reuse so this part I think fits well Oop. except we're probably gonna add the bells I would say or maybe yeah the bells are good
that sounds great. That was a good intro to bring back the melody for a few bars here. Sounded good. Bring the melody back. And then I think I will cut this and replicate this to create the outro. Mix wise, I think this, this track is pretty clean. I mean, you can refine, definitely refine a little bit more. The second bass is definitely doing a good job here. I will cut it here then. Opening a bit much for this purpose. So now we have a nice outro. Let's just do a little bit of recap. Starting, starting really slowly, slowly bringing some elements, get some plucks, a bit of automation on the top here. Then at 33, we drop, bring the main bass, which is more brass than a bass, but still there. 46, we bring in the bass pad. Definitely fit well with the hits. The melody is there in the back, slowly, I would say, creeping in almost. Then we'll go into a dancey part at 65. We we'll added a few elements, it's good. 81, bring again the melody. 89, start the drop. 97, get into the drop where we have. Another four bars, so it's equal. So this segment, segment, segment. And I don't think we need much more, you know, uh, icing on the cake. You know, I think this type of track, the elements speak for themselves. It's it's mellow, there's good melodies, there's really good rich sound. It's balanced, you know, with a good mastering. That's gonna be it, guys, for episode 76 of the EDM sessions. From episode 80 to 90, I will master those tracks that I'm doing now. So check it out, guys. I think it's going to be interesting to master the track that I made with you. First, I composed them in the first episode. Second, I arrange and mix them. And the third episode, I will master them. And they will be available for you to buy on Beatport, Spotify, and wherever you want. Or stream your music. And that's it, guys, for episode 75. And of course, as usual, may the songs be with you guys.